Saquon Barkley is a super freak. 4.4 in the 40, 41-inch vertical, and 29 reps in the bench press. The only guy in last year's combine to do 25-plus reps and jump 40-plus inches, Miles Garrett. And he went number one overall. And you know what? We might see history repeat itself because Saquon Barkley, maybe, just maybe, might go number one overall. And you know what? It is not that crazy. We've seen a history recently of running backs going high. There was a point, what, three, four years ago where running backs weren't even going in the first round. But Todd Gurley went in the top ten, Ezekiel Elliott in the top five, and Saquon Barkley's measurables and and talent and skill set is better than Ezekiel Elliott and better than Todd Gurley. A lot of Marshall Falk in Barkley in in the way that he can run and catch passes out of the backfield. But Saquon Barkley is also 233 pounds. Remarkable what he can do on a football field. But the reason why he might go number one, Hugh Jackson has a history of going after veteran quarterbacks. When he was in Oakland, he traded for Carson Palmer. He tried to trade for A.J. McCarron prior to the trade deadline last year. Obviously, that all got screwed up, and Cleveland didn't get him. And and honestly, it was better off if they didn't get him. So they might be in the Kirk Cousins sweepstakes. It sounds like they want to go after him. We'll see if that actually comes to fruition. But if you do side a Kirk Cousins, well, why not draft Saquon Barkley at number one? And if they do go with a rookie quarterback, the rumor is that they like Josh Allen the big arm quarterback who, who lit up the combine today. I had a big showing there. So if you go with, with a guy like Josh Allen, because most scouts are, are putting Sam Darnold and, and Josh Rosen ahead of Allen. And I've heard reports that Cleveland doesn't even want to touch or sniff Josh Rosen. We'll, we'll see if that actually comes true or not. Again, we'll find all this out in, in April when the draft actually happens. But if you want to draft a Josh Allen, you can wait till four. Because if you take Barkley at number one, well, then it's Sam Darnold or Josh Rosen at number two. Sure, you're probably going to have a team try and trade up to number three where Indianapolis is. Indianapolis doesn't need a quarterback. It has Andrew Luck. And the thing about the Colts is they have so many holes to fill in their roster. I I think trading back is is – the right call for them, gain as many draft picks as you can and try to fill all those holes because they got a lot of them. I mean, even even if they go, you know, say Bradley Chubb with the third overall pick, they need a lot more than that. That's for sure. So I look at the Jets at six or, or even the Broncos at five, they could trade up. But Josh Allen is, is number three in a lot of people's boards. And, you know, obviously they would have to take a chance here and, and uh, after what's happened recently, uh, maybe they would be hesitant because, you know, they missed out on Carson Wentz. They missed out on Sean Watson. But due to the history of Hugh Jackson, I can see a scenario here where, where they do go after Kirk Cousins, and they can throw a lot of money at him. Uh, and we'll see with that. So if, if you take a Kirk Cousins, Saquon Barkley is the way to go at number one. If you want a rookie quarterback, well, Saquon Barkley is also – a good, good player to have at number one because, well, he would help out your rookie quarterback. Catching the passes out of the backfield. Being able to sustain long drives because he can churn out four or five yards at a time. Saquon Barkley is a complete back, in my opinion. I think he's going to be a great one. Hall of Fame caliber. Hall of Fame potential. Would not surprise me one bit. So he put on a show last night, and and, and let's take a look at some of this. I mean, just unbelievable what what he can do and what he did. So uh, here here are the highlights, and you can check it out right here. I mean, Saquon just putting on a show. And and, and at one point, uh, the NFL Network had, I believe it was him, uh, Leonard Fournette, Ezekiel Elliott, and and Alvin Kamara, uh, all kind of, you know, in, in the lineup there in the 40. 
And obviously Barkley was a step ahead of the rest of the pack. So he's got so much wiggle to him. The way that he can bounce runs to the outside and, and look at those thighs. So compactly built. I mean, obviously putting up 29 reps in the bench press. So 4-4-1 on that first run, 4-4-2. Uh, the official, I think, was 4-4. So uh, there you go there. Oh, got my Sixers fat head there in the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. So Saquon Barkley churning it out. There he is. Here's the vertical. 41 inches. Get up. Get up, Saquon. So Barkley has been a, a superstar in the banking at, at Penn State for the last couple of years now. And, uh, it, you know, here he is catching passes. Look at that. What? Just so smooth. I mean, he has the ability to, to line up as a wide receiver if you, if you need him to, if, if that's what you want to do. So he, he's good. he can jump cut on you. Turn the corner, and he can even churn out those extra yards because look at those thighs. Turn them out like Jay Ajayi does. So you're looking at a complete back in Barkley. Uh, you know, when I was on the radio last night, uh, the, the intern uh, didn't agree with me at all. Uh, he, he thinks that uh, Cleveland should take Sam Darnold. But if I know Hugh Jackson the way I think I know him, I think they're going to go after Kirk Cousins hard, and I think they might land him. And if you want to pair Kirk Cousins with somebody, it would be Saquon Barkley. And here he is, turning out those bench press. Like I explained before, Miles Garrett was the only one in last year's combine to do 25-plus reps and jump 40-plus inches. And Barkley was able to do that, and he's a running back. To do 29 as a running back is just crazy. It's beast mode. And here he is. Putting on a show in Indianapolis. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it. Keep it going, baby. Keep it coming. Look at him, man. That is a physical freak. Freak. And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Saquon Barkley. Might go number one overall. Not crazy talk. I'm Adrian Fecu. I'm out.